Welcome to Island Girl Creative Studio Online Tutorials. I'm going to be doing a series of these 12 by 12 canvases. And if you've already watched several of the videos, I'm going to sound like a broken record saying the same thing over and over again. I apologize for that, but I just want to make sure that everybody gets the same information if you're only watching one or two of them as opposed to all of them. I hope you watch all of them, but we'll see here, huh? Okay, so these tutorials are going hand by hand with the kits that I'm selling online at www.islandgirlcreativestudio.com. Just go to the shop button and you'll be able to choose from a bunch of different designs that are 12 by 12, pre-drawn. They come with all the paints that you need as well as the paint brushes. And some of them are going to have these tutorials. Now to start this Scotty, or actually I was just informed this is a Westie, not a Scotty. We're going to start with the background. So the background is going to be that chrome yellow color and you're literally just going to cover the canvas going around the puppy and you go up and down and go back and forth, whatever you want, making sure to go around the edges as well just to complete that project. Once you've got that color on there still wet, you can use that same sponge brush, dip it into the orange, the chrome orange. And we're just going to smear it around here and there and just make some interesting stuff in the background. It's just supposed to look like a pile of leaves that this puppy's playing in. So again, we're smearing in that orange. You can put it on the outside. We want to see the yellow, but we're smearing some orange into that. Now while that's drying, we're going to go work on the puppy. So there's going to be a little bucket that has some red and you're going to mix some white into it to make it pink. We're going to paint the insides of his ears pink using our paintbrush and we're just going to go ahead and get the inside of those ears nice and pink as well as his tongue we're going to get him a nice pink tongue and the sides of his mouth are going to be a little bit darker so if you can make a little lighter pink and a little darker pink in the same cup then that's fabulous we're just going to put that little pink on there the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make him almost completely white to start with so you're going to take a big, big pull of paint on the paintbrush and we're just going to paint as much of that white as we can. So we're just going to make sure to paint in his paws going in a circle because the texture really helps with this. And then painting down. We're going to paint down on his little chest here and inside of his little uh, muzzle. Yeah, snout. And his ears. Now with this one, we are gonna, the way we make them fuzzy is we just go over the background just a tiny bit on each side and then up above his head like this to make them look fuzzy. Just pounce and pull it. Be pulling eyelashes off the sides. Now I know that he has blue in him. I know you can see that, but we're gonna wait just a second. Let that white paint kind of relax for a second. And we're gonna go over here and we're gonna put these shapes in. So just follow all the leaf shapes. You have brown, and dark red and we're going to outline as many of those as you want um, putting the little veins inside too you can just use that same flat paintbrush but on its skinny side to get those lines and just go ahead and put all those details in if I'm going too fast for you just make sure to pause the video so you can catch up for the next uh, instruction Okay, so now we're gonna go back in, take a little bit of white paint and a little bit of that cobalt blue and mix it up to make a really, really, really light blue. And this is where we're gonna put those details in. We're gonna pull some of those baby blue colors all the way around, outlining his snout like this and like this, because that's a separate space of on, on his face. And then you're just going to make sure to paint in how that fur would be sitting on him. So you're just gonna pull it around. It's very, very, very light, 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 light blue. Same thing with his paws, go around and then just pull some of that light blue right off the sides here. Around and pull that light blue off. Then you're going to take a little bit of more of that cobalt blue, make a little bit darker, and you're going to create the shadow that is on his chest from his little hands being on his chest. So you're just going to create a little bit of a shadow with that blue in there. And you can do it off to the sides of his snout too. Now play with it back and forth. This is a little bit more complicated than the other ones, but this is definitely doable. Um, you're just creating, like I said, a little bit of a shadow with that blue. When you're done with that, we're gonna wash that brush off. We're gonna give him two cute little happy squinty eyes and an adorable little nose and one little line that connects right down to his tongue and his mouth. And there you have it. 
We've got our little Westie playing in the leaves. If you have any more questions or concerns about this particular painting, you can leave it down in the comments. Or you can contact me on Facebook at Island Girl Paint Party or Island Girl Creative Studio. Either way, I really hope that you will subscribe to this crazy channel, watch more videos, and go ahead and show me your artwork when you're done. I love to see what you guys have created. It's really hard for me not to see anything. I'm just here by myself with the Coke machine in the background making all that noise. All right, stay healthy, and I look forward to seeing you soon.